It's just unbelievable the feeling of going to Brentford, it really is. I've listened to the excited shouts of the Brentford fans. Yes, it's marvellous, how do you? Go on your bees! You hear a lot of that kind of thing. I listened to them predicting a, a win, of course, for Brentford. People are excited, there are excited conversations all around me. The atmosphere is electric. My name is Andy Godfrey, and I've been following Brentford for 50 years. Well, I've been blind since birth, and so has my brother. We chose our parents very well, who said, well, if you're blind, you've just got to get on with it. I was a French and German teacher. When I came to Brentford, I taught at my first school, and one of the teachers said to me, they have an excellent commentary at Brentford. Would you like to try that? And I came to the club, and it was everything that I could dream a football club could be. On a match day, I can't stop thinking about anything else, really. It's just Brentford all the way through from 8 o'clock to until the 3 o'clock kickoff. Yeah, I get the shakes sometimes, you know, I really do. Obviously not all blind people like football, but loads do, loads do. I just wish more people would come to the ground, though. You can hear the shouts of the players, the cries of the crowd. People are getting nervous, they, you do sense that. The, the height, height of expectancy is absolutely amazing, really. When the teams come out, of course, you hear, hey, Jude, that really unites us all, I think. Having a commentary really enhances the whole experience of going to Brentford. When I was growing up, all the blind spectators had to sit together. The reason wasn't that their blindness united them, but in those days, headphones, you had to plug into a console. Now, we have wireless headphones, which are absolutely super, because you can sit anywhere you like with your friends. The best thing about it is that a commentator keeps up with play, never misses a shot or a kick, and describes what is happening almost before it's happened. It's a wonderfully building up atmosphere. Well, we're underway. Chelsea kicking right to left. A big welcome this afternoon to all our blind and partially sighted supporters in the ground here. We love having you with us. On the right hand side, he's now run a good 50 to 60 yards. Edge of the penalty area, he slides the ball across. Brentford in the ascendancy. We're going to see Yarmouk and Mope coming on in a second. Brentford get the ball clear. You just feel that this game's got another goal in it. That means the world to me, it really does. You are watching through the commentator's eyes. He keeps the ball in play, here's Wesley. Risa in the box, the ball's played across, Reggie on the stretch there from a tight angle, it was fist across to him, he couldn't quite get it goalwards. I don't miss many home games, I go to all of them pretty well, but I wouldn't go if there were no commentary at Brentford, I wouldn't go. you would be in the suit, wouldn't you, really? You'd have to rely on casual acquaintance of other sighted people who are not used to commentary. We've got five additional minutes at the end of this game. I think football is a great introducer to other people and other walks of life. And, of course, during the season, the home matches act as a kind of calendar. Really, it, it grounds you, in a sense. It means the world to me, and I really mean that. The impact of football on my life is immense, really. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for the kindness I've received at Brentford. They make it accessible in many ways. The best thing of all is that each blind person can bring a carer, and these tickets are given free, which I think is actually amazing, because I think the more people you get into football, the better it is. <laughs> 